what is going on everybody it is Bucky and welcome to your 42nd objective C tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be going over exception handling what what the heck did you say what's an exception and how do you handle it well exception handling is pretty much what to do if you get an error in your computer program computer programmers like to use the term throwing an exception but all this means is pretty much I got an error in my program um, I use the term exception and error interchangeably. I know you shouldn't, but um, if you see me saying like I get an exception or I get an error, it means the same thing. But uh, don't tell any professional programmers just from Harvard or anything because uh, they might get a little upset. So anyways, check this out. As you can see, I already deleted everything in our class from last tutorial except this object declaration. Now, normally in our programs before, whenever we came across code with an error or something, so check this out. Let's go ahead and type an error. You have an object called n, of course, that's right here, and try to call a method called no method in it. And if you can't remember, we didn't have a method called this in our numbers class, so this is going to go ahead and generate an error method saying you have no no method method. So after this, let's go ahead and ns log something on the screen. This is code after the error. So let's go ahead and run this, save it, and see what we get. Well, as soon as you run this and you see we get an error right here, we get this horrific, unsightly, what is this, all computer mumbo jumbo. I don't even know what's going on right now but this is ugly to look at. You think our users want to see that when they're running our program? I don't think so. And even worse than all that, as soon as you get an error, check this out, this is the code after the error. It doesn't even get to that, it just shuts down our program right as it gets an error and just stops. You think we want our users program to just shut down whenever we get a little teeny error? I don't think so. So it uh, kind of sucks how that works. But trust me, there's a way to fix this, and that's called exception handling. So instead of having to deal with errors like this, what Objective-C allows you to do is test a little bit of code to see if it gets an error and if it doesn't. And if it does get an error, instead of giving you huge long error messages, it allows you to write your custom error messages a lot smaller, preferably, and it also allows you to continue with your code in your program. So not only can you have prettier error messages that the user can actually understand, it won't shut down your program and it'll allow you to keep going with your code. So you're saying, all right, this is nice and how about how the heck do I do this? Well, the syntax for this is at try, and here's the syntax. S -s -s -syntax. Um, go ahead and delete this at finally. We'll be teaching that later on. The main things I want to be teaching now is try and catch. Now you see this try and catch syntax is uh, pretty simple. For the try inside the curly brackets, you type what statements do you want to try or what code do you think may generate an error. And go ahead and type uh, n and try to call method called this is going to get an error and make sure you spell it wrong so you are sure to generate an error. So I only typed one line but you can have as many lines as you want. You can try four lines of code if you want. So what we're saying is alright Objective-C we want to try this bit of code inside the try block. Now if we get an error instead of spitting out a horrific error messages like this and ending our program Instead, what we want you to do is run the code inside the catch block. And what this catch block means is this. It says it takes one parameter. This is ns exception star e. Now, there are different kinds of errors that you can catch or look out for. This pretty much means look out for any error that this might generate. So uh, this is the default Again, we'll be talking about that later, but leave it like that for now. If you only want to look for one specific error, say you only want to check if the user divides by zero, just that, then there's a special thing you put in here. But anyways, we want to look for any exception that might occur or any error. So we say, all right, try this. It's going to generate an error. Instead of shutting down our program and, you know, just giving us a horrific error message, do this instead. NS log 
just uh, not put a nice little user friendly say you got an error in your program so if we get an error which we will instead of seeing all this the user is just gonna see this you get an error with your program and the coolest thing about this all is instead of shutting down the entire program right after that and just terminating everything this is code after the error as soon as it's done handling your errors it allows you to continue with the rest of your program like nothing ever happened so let's go ahead and build and run this select OK select all and I put I always do that I put log lowercase l so embarrassing it isn't really that embarrassing but you know so check it out instead of getting all this like before we ran our new program it gave a little message to say alright this wasn't a real method and instead of getting a huge error all it said was our custom error messages not messages just one message you got an error in your program that is much more user friendly than all this trust me and then the coolest thing about it instead of just shutting down our program without even asking us it went ahead and continued with the rest of the program so that is pretty much how you handle errors in computer programming or well objective C program not only to you know give the user a custom error messages that they may understand but also continue with the rest of your program so it doesn't just shut down on them and you know it's just a neater way to do things so there are some things that you absolutely need to put in try blocks so we're going to be doing a couple of these things later on and there's also a couple other syntax like at finally and this well don't worry about it now but you know there are a couple, a couple other neat tricks that you can use when handling errors but uh we'll get into that later if you have any questions and just uh, ask me on my forum i usually don't respond to youtube uh, emails or messages so you know that's all I have for you for this tutorial thank you guys for watching um, all the source code is going to be for free in the link below so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later